Hello, and welcome to the Grants Portal How-To Videos, presented by the Training, Design, and Development section. Today, we're going to walk you through how to create a widget. Once you're logged into Grants Portal, you're going to go over to the left-hand navigation side. Um, I'm going to minimize my organization, which normally always appears, and I'm going to open Intelligence, which is the last option on the navigation side. Depending on your role, you might have more. However, you will always have widgets. Click on widgets. And you should see a new screen that will list multiple options of widgets that you can add. Widgets are sort of just like fancy tiles or preset tiles that have information that has been determined to be needed by multiple events, so the system just automatically adds them. So they were developed to track this information. Once you're on this page, you're going to see a couple columns. The first is the action button to add. Next is you have a preview of what the widget will look like. We have the name of the widget, then the description, and then finally the size or how much space it will take up on your dashboard. Once you look through, depending on your roles and responsibilities, you're going to identify which widgets make the most sense for you to track. I'm going to demonstrate adding the project status table for a work completed fully documented projects. So I'm going to click Add to Dashboard. For each widget, you'll get a pop-up that's going to want you to filter for some information. Can leave it as all size and the default of main, or you can select all, pick the event. Depending on your situation, you might only have one event. I'm going to click the event I want. The size is the default and only one option. And finally, I'm going to just leave it on my main board and then click add. Grants Portal will let you know you are successful with this green box. From here, you can continue to add, or if you go up and click Dashboard, and then switch to your main board if you weren't there already, we can see our widget. This widget is going to track all of my completed work and fully documented projects through the process. You can currently see I have two projects that have completed formulation and are currently in pending initial project development. If I click on initial project development, it took me to my projects and shows me my two projects that are pending initial project development. All widgets work the same. So if I go back to intelligence and then widgets, I can demonstrate it again with just a different widget. For this one, I'll pick site inspection status, the stack column chart, and follow the same steps of hitting add to dashboard. This time, I will leave all of the filters the same and then click add. Once I see I'm successful, I'm going to go back and hit dashboard, scroll down, and we can see my new widget has been added. I can hover over in these areas and get a little more information. So I can see damages that are less than 100% complete with a pending site inspection is nine, and that's what this yellow box with a nine in it represents. That's how you add a widget. Now we have some compliance information for you. If you are working with any documents used for a FEMA grant, you are responsible for safeguarding personally identifiable information, or PII. PII refers to anything that can be used to directly or indirectly identify an individual. Some examples of PII are names, addresses, social security numbers, and financial account information. This type of information must not be uploaded into Grants Portal or Grants Manager. To report corruption, waste, fraud, abuse, mismanagement, and or misconduct, contact the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General by phone at 1-800-323-8603 or via the website or mailing address listed on the screen now.
Procurement requirements are among the most complicated parts of the PA grant process, and noncompliance can result in deobligation of funding. Please make sure that you are following FEMA's procurement guidance for recipients and subrecipients. Federal requirements for procurement and contracting are described in 2 CFR Part 200. The Procurement Disaster Assistance Team, or PDAT, offers some training and tools on their website, www.fema.gov slash grants slash procurement. For technical assistance with Grants Portal or Grants Manager, you can call the PA Grants Portal Grants Manager hotline at 866-337-8448. National hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. The hotline can also be reached by email at fema-recovery-pa-grants at fema.dhs.gov. We have many other recorded webinars and tutorial videos available on our YouTube channel. You can find them by searching for FEMA Grants Portal on YouTube or by navigating to the Support Center in Grants Portal or Grants Manager. Thank you for watching.